we started our European tour in France almost exactly a year ago and being back here kind of feels like a bit of a homecoming. Um, all the bike signs kind of have the same style so just seeing those again and seeing all the products we used to buy in the grocery store is pretty fun so we're happy to be back even if it's just for 10 miles. Well, we made it into Belgium, country number 15. We tried to go to one last French bakery before leaving, but in classic French bakery fashion, they were closed for lunch. So that was a little bit sad, but we're excited to get some Belgian beer and chocolate now. This is our version of a beach day. We got some pasta salads and our first Belgian beers, which we're very excited about. They're very cheap and very delicious. Last night we camped right next to these train tracks and the train stopped around midnight but uh, yeah it was pretty loud early this morning but it was kind of a hard area to find camping and there aren't really any houses around so we probably got got seen by a lot of train people though. Day two in Belgium. We're riding into Bruges on a cycle superhighway. There's a million road cyclists out today. They're all passing us. We are in Bruges, just like the movie. We're headed out of Bruges today, riding a nice uh, canal bike path. There's kind of a berm so you can't really see the canal, but it's the hottest day of our entire trip so far. It's gonna hit 102 Fahrenheit. It's already at 95. Uh, it's like 40 centigrade or just, just below that, I guess. Uh, luckily, we've got a nice breeze and shade for the moment, so it's not quite unbearable. We had a nice day off in Bruges. Very touristy town, but it was fun wandering around and looking at all the old stuff. Saw Jesus' blood. Well, kind of like Santa Claus, we saw where Jesus' blood is, but didn't see the actual blood. Uh, of dubious origins, of course, just like Santa Claus's bones. We've only been in Belgium for three days or so, and we're already leaving today. Uh, we're riding the coastal route, and uh, because Belgium has such a narrow coastline, we're not going to be able to spend much time in Belgium. We're going to be in the Netherlands very soon. We just crossed into the Netherlands. There wasn't a sign or anything, but um, it's about 100 degrees. It's pretty toasty. We luckily found some shade on this canal path to hang out in.
headed to Zeeland on a bikes and pedestrians only ferry. We're in Zealand now and we're on a nice uh, forest bike path and it ended and suddenly we're in this weird I guess kind of like a dike kind of hellish uh, heat trap no water fountains probably already drank close to four liters today uh, I need to find some water showdown <laughs> you gotta go around it in the sand it just sits there okay he likes the road you're bigger than me even though you're small So it's a little bit more overcast today and there's not as many people at the beach, but this is all bicycle parking. There's more of it up there. I don't know where you'd even park if you came here with a car. It seems like pretty much nobody does. So it's pretty awesome, even in a country that's technically more populated than other places we've been in Europe. It really doesn't feel that way because there's hardly any cars around. All I knew about uh, the Netherlands before arriving was that there were a lot of canals and a lot of bike paths. So far it has fully lived up to both of those. ride into Rotterdam continues to have a very interesting industrial scenery. Bird, Texas.
It's been about a week since we left Bruges and we've just been making quick progress through the Netherlands. It's a really flat country with great bicycling infrastructure but it doesn't really fit our style of touring where we're trying to avoid spending money. Uh, it's very expensive and there's not many places to wild camp. Um, luckily we found this forest last night. It's one of the first forests we saw in like 50 miles so uh, we were excited to find it and it's been a pretty good campsite but um, we're just going pretty quick through the Netherlands to make our way towards Scandinavia where the camping and just nature situation will be a little bit better. This is our first campsite in Germany. It wasn't too hard to find this pretty secluded forest not far from the road. We even had enough privacy to take a camp shower, which is always pretty nice. So my hair is a little bit less greasy than usual and I'm ready for the day. So we've been camping for a pretty long time at this point and I've really never liked bugs, especially spiders. It's kind of embarrassing how much they freak me out and I've gotten a little bit better, but I still definitely freak out if spiders get in the tent or anything like that. So that's kind of taking a very long time to, <laughs> to get past.
hot day and we finally got some hills. Getting pretty close to Denmark. I'm gonna take a ferry in about 20, 30 miles, something like that.